Hi, it's me again with Trail Draw Tips and Tricks on Beginner. I think this is part 16. We're on the menu bar. We've done all the tools. We've done file, edit, view, layout, and object. Now we're on effect. I don't get to use the effects, of most of the ones I want to talk about because I'm a laser engraver, but some of them are pretty cool. You can do, and I'm just going to go over some highlights like a 3D effect and in Boss, and that flag now looks been seriously embossed. Um, you know, like it's standing out. You know, we take that away. We can go to 3D effect and curl the page. And you can play around with this and make the paper opaque. And, you know, you can go the other direction and from the other corner. Uh, pretty cool effect that printers can do. Us laser engravers don't get to do it. You can adjust things and make it. Uh, this is where you can do your contrast of, you know, color and brightness like you would in a photo. Uh, blur, gussing and blur is about the only one I've really ever used. You could blur a picture for one reason or another. Uh, I've made several videos on that. Under effects, a, a creative, there's a vignette. You can make and change it to white. You can make it a circle or rectangle or square and have a different look. You could actually add another color. You could take away some of the fade add some offset so it doesn't look quite, you know, all the way gone. It's really neat to get rid of uh, some surface areas around a child in a photo. Uh, under effects, stained glass. I mean, look at this. Um, and you can change the solder width. And so we put this to five, and now our solder is not quite as thick. Uh, that's a pretty cool effect and play around with it. Uh, I don't get to play around with too much. You know, you can add texture. I just did the other one the other day with some elegant skin and just make it look like that. Pretty cool effect. I don't get to play. I get to play around with them, but I don't get to use them very much. So let's back this up. I think I'm really done with that photo anyway. But under effects, the ones I do use is these are going to open up your dockers that are actually under Windows 2, but it's stuff like blend and bevel, artistic media, which is also over there, but it's actually a docker. Uh, let's bevel something. Let's take, let's take a, uh, I just started using bevel actually to make my keys, uh, to represent my keys on my keyboard when I want to do something. But you can take that object right there and go to bevel and pick on, uh, soft edge and uh, apply it and it looks like the keys on your keyboard and you can play around with that with colors and distance and from the center and, and so on underneath uh, actually underneath there you, so you can close that bevel docker from here go to object contour I always I'm going to use this this item first before I contour anything else if I want to contour that star, uh, we talked about contour the other day over here, but I'm going to use this contour because it's going to open up my contour docker and I can do more. I can contour that um, two times to the outside, the inside, or to the center. So we can contour that thing twice to the out inside. Of course, it's only going to do once if you're telling it if it's too small. So let's go to the outside. It'll contour it twice at a quarter inch apart. Pretty cool, pretty uh, you know, useful, but that's under effects. Envelope tool, we already did here, that's basically the same except for it opens up a docker and you can get some presets. Uh, under extrude tool, we, we did that the other day. Lens, I don't even understand the photo cocktail and the uh, pointalizer yet, uh, really, because I don't get to really play with these. But when I want to contour or envelope, I'm going to use this docker instead of, well, this will work just as well, but this is actually a, a docker that opens up. So under effects, that's pretty much it. You know, there's an artistic media uh, docker, but that's a, basically it's the same thing as going right here and open up your artistic media docker or pen and doing different things. Anyway, that's pretty much all under effects. Uh, you know, there's texture, sharpen, noise, 
Uh, you you really just have to kind of play around with this. I've only played around with a few I mentioned. Anyway, I hope that helped. Oh, so Blend, you know, Blend is over here. I forgot about Blend. Blend is going to be one I'm going to go to here because what I like about the Blend, I can pick that one, hold down the shift key and pick that one and uh, blend those things uh, three times, uh, do whatever I want with them. I can... You know, don't have to, we did blend the other day, but I like this docker instead of, you know, it's the same stuff up here, but it's whatever you get used to. You know, we can back up here and put these things further apart and you can actually just lasso them together and you can blend them 200 times if you want. And look at that. And what that did, it actually gave you some lines in there because we had outlines. So if you're ever gonna do that, take away your outlines right click well right here just right select them both and right click no outline and then when we blend them that 200 time those lines won't be there and it's a pretty cool effect to do things and like we did in the previous days you can go to object group and un break the blend apart and then go object ungroup it which is control u and then you've got that new color that you don't have anywhere else because you just made it. You know, look at the difference in the shades of blue that we created. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit.